Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Parco here with Mike Kelly, and we are Real Estate Jerky Daily. And I have no idea what his name was, but we're talking off screen, off yeah. mic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think what she what she would say. Oh, blah, blah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Weezy, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> wrong show. Wrong, way wrong show. <clears throat> wrong era. No, it's the same era. That's uh, I guess mm. one was late sixties, one was early seventies. Yeah. Ooh, 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 splitting straws. Yeah, I tell you, <laughs> Mr. See Carter, if, Mr. Carter. See if they can guess what we're talking about now. Uh, old TV shows. Yeah. Well, what's going on in the world of uh, lending and the national numbers of things, Mister? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, well, first I'm going to say, hey, we got Operation Firewalk going. Yes, we so do. Go check it out if you're a veteran or if you know a veteran who needs to reignite their purpose. That is what we're doing. It's a two day event. Wow. Um, like that. Reignite, reignite your purpose. Your, I like that. Yeah. Don't set your feet on fire, but walk across it. Yeah. Well, you won't set it. But anyway, Joe, so check it out. Look at the thing. We're setting it up. You'll be able to pay online and everything. So, um, and if you can. Now, who's you know, this for? So for veterans only only well and first responders will be the second people okay we're trying to fill it up the first night you know first with veterans but we'll take first responders also yeah and if you're both wow that's even more that's even more better more better more better Hold yeah on. i knew the answers to that i just knew that our Here, audience does here's not. the flyer I'll wow get you i'll get you some for your office i'll put some up at the office all right and then we'll have them finalized by tomorrow ba -ba 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 -ba. hopefully and the website is up and running yeah that, that's the operation fireworks takes you to the landing page that we set up under rotary because it's a rotary event that we're putting on this year i want my goal was to help out more veterans deal with um, you know suicide 22 a day plus one active duty member each day commit That's suicide fantastic. so we're trying to you know help that out and get people to reignite their purpose i think this is so very very cool yeah hey i want to shout out to my uh my old neighbor tom um he just gave us a thumbs up uh, good to see you, Tom. And I believe you're a retired veteran. Well, if you are, we you needed to go over he there and have a walk. walk on some coals. Yeah, and it's a dinner and a and a show. <laughs> and thank you for your service. Yes. So the whole event is, you know, not only walking. We get dinner. We're going to have some people come in and talk about how they, you know, got through what they got through. Yep. And it's going to be some unique people. Two day event. First day is really for closer veterans because think about it. It's going to be a, starting around five thirty six o'clock. It's kind of hard to get off of work and get there on time if you're in the different areas. Mm -hmm. So the second day is really for the outer areas that come because that's a Saturday. Yeah, unless they come over Thursday night. Right, they could do that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, it's you know, can't always do that. So we're trying to make sure we take care of that. All right. The other thing I want to talk about for vets right now is HUD announced 14.5 million for veterans seeking permanent housing. Oh, yeah. So That's homeless a little vets, tiny bit in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when they throw out 3.8 million just to see how do we get more affordability the other day? Yeah, what a waste. Yeah, yeah we could have thrown that here. It could have been uh, 3.7 something. 3.8, uh, 18 million. I can't add today. I must be a loan officer. Yeah, he must be a loan officer. Yeah. Oh, I use I use the numbers on the computer. Yeah. I let it tell me. I'm like the people you go to a cash register. Uh, here's fourteen dollars back. It's gonna be fun. instead of counting it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun when they uh, when they come back and say, "Well, we've determined that we need to build more homes." Yeah, yeah that's the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, we need to get people to get. I just hit the wrong button again. Uh, get people to uh, lower the prices of permits in the county. You know, in certain we know what needs to be done. A lot of things. Yeah, we've already said it. We even went to that one. Remember that one thing we went to? Of how to build more affordable housing? It was over. Yeah, of, where yeah. where everybody said some wonderful flowing things, but oh. nobody had an answer. We we are <laughs> so amazing at, at what we do. Yeah, but we don't do nothing. Yeah, we don't do. We talk about it, but yeah. uh, you know that's hyperbole is all we have yeah so here they're going to give out about 1400 vouchers for that so what's a thousand bucks a piece 1400 yeah into 14 million yeah probably yeah no it'd be more than a thousand dollars per each one yeah 14 times 1000 equals oh my god that's 1.4 million so i guess it's be that's ten thousand dollars per freaking voucher yeah Wow. I wonder how long you get to stay. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right. We'll get to your stuff in a second. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, there's, you know, been a lot of cyber attacks, right? Yeah. The crazy. Yeah. Well, Lone Depot had a major one and 17 million individuals 
were were affected. It was like six point sixteen point seven or something like that. That's a lot of people's. <clears throat> it's going to cost them around seventeen million dollars to resolve all that. So. What are they going to? I mean, fixing things, or they I have no idea what they because they didn't say that in the article. They Basically, just have to it's resolve just, it, right? This the issue. Be very careful. Don't click on that stupid stuff because you know somebody in their company went, oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to get some money for free. Wait, no, I, don't, I know what they're going to do. They're going to give everybody a dollar. <laughs> exactly. That's <laughs> kind of like AT and T did with their shortage. I mean, their outage the other day. Here's five bucks. Yeah, I did. All of our customers. I don't think. Did I get five dollars? I have to look. No, we see. didn't have outages in our area. Yeah. yeah, I liked how I got the text saying, "We're going to strive to do better." <laughs> okay. All right. The news Go. that was the news that was today was mortgage applications. Uh, they're down. Shocking. Applications decreased by five point six percent compared to the previous week. The biggest hit was FHA and VA borrowers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and refinance application dropped seven percent, which is down one percent year over year. That tells you there was no refinances a year over ago. <laughs> if it's only down one percent. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Purchase applications decreased by five percent, down twelve percent compared to the same period last year. Mm -hmm. So there was some purchases going on last year. The other thing today was fourth quarter GDP second read uh, came in at 3.2% instead of 3.3%. Ooh, Ooh, big drop. Those tents. What do you got today? You got numbers, don't you? I do. You want to share them? Sure, go ahead. Or you can just keep them secret. Oh, uh, I kind of like the idea of keeping them secret. All right. They'll be. Then you know, and everybody has to call you. All right. So exactly. call Mike Kelly at 209 968 5633 if you want to know what's going on. I could make that a little bigger um, if my cursor there it is oh there it is um, uh, up on the top there we go yep. right says, oh, we are having trouble streaming the instagram if you ended it on instagram this is expected if not this continues try creating a new instagram stream yeah huh. once you start an instagram once you start this live yeah you can't do anything over there unless you end it no you can't even if you start you can't even connect it afterwards i've tried oh really yeah that's crazy look at all of Stanislaus County since the first of the year, since January 1, 2024, uh, 341 active listings. I think that went up like eight <laughs> So <laughs> from I know. last week. So we've had, I'll keep going because I'm already 299 divided. pendings, and that's gone up by, I want to say, 11 from last week. Right. Oh, maybe 18. 281 is my memory. But we finally reached the 400 mark. We're 407 closed listings after two months of, <laughs> essentially um, i mean tomorrow's the last day of the month and it's a short well month, you would just say but just it's a longer month months. than it normally is yeah. two months yeah just say two months yeah i heard a comedian the other day talking about um the days of the week um how many weeks are in a in a year and how many months are in a year and if you add up if you divide the the days by 30 there's actually 13 months in the year <laughs> <laughs> right because there's extra days and yeah, other months yes exactly. and less days and, and so what happened I, to that other month i know what i'm looking at is the fact that we only had 407 transaction closed in two months yeah so divided by two that's only 203 and a half so to just say 203,000. if we keep on this pace times 12 we're only going to close 2400 homes this year in in this county yeah and uh, that's less than that's what we one did last year for every loan officer <laughs> yeah and that's one for every re realtor that's still here in stanislaus county yeah, yeah. And can't pay my bills that way there are there are realtors who come from east bay merced um la come up here and try to sell property because they don't have any inventory where they are as well and then of course we're the for affordable front um as opposed to la and or the bay east bay or bay yeah well and, and it's really not that affordable anymore i mean with only 44 percent of the people of the state of california 44 percent of the people here own a home and that includes people owning a home that's not <laughs> a lot of people does that include people owning yeah, a home? yes it's all right hey when's the best time to buy if you right can get, if you can get the money out do it now before it gets worse exactly or better for some sellers well i i was on a, a one of these things that are, yeah this week and somebody, yeah whatever you want to call it and he they asked you know they would do i wish it was back to where everybody could affordable home and i said no more of a normal market no like 2017 18 where most of the people who qualified 
could get into a home? And I said, no, because then nobody would buy real estate because it wouldn't appreciate. Right. Right. That's the whole purpose of getting control over your destiny, building equity, building all that stuff. And if you average, if you go back to if we didn't have the bubble back to 2008 and only went up 4% a year, which is our average, we're mm -hmm. probably would be probably higher than we are right now. So think about how many years when we when we think about the past and, and, we're, and we're talking about when I was growing up. So that was a long ass time ago. Right. Um, you know, my dad stayed in his first house that he paid $7,500 for. We stayed there for, I was 13. So they were there 15 years um, and sold it for 11, six. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And we moved two blocks South into a nicer home, newer home. Um, he paid 22 for it. And for some dumbass reason, he said to his realtor, um, Sandy Turner, I remember her name. Um, we'll be moving in a, in a year, in a year to a day, we closed escrow on the sale of that that property for 36 8 and he bought a home for 42 and then that was where he was for um, until you recently sold pretty it much ever. <laughs> no no he wound up screw it up and some bad things happened uh in the economy and uh well, he lost his house. Yeah, well, that's what happens sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure it had to do with our government. <laughs> Who was elected? You, you think? Real estate usually suffers because of bad programs and or government intervention. Yeah. Period. Um, I agree. Yeah. 100%. All right. I don't have much more to that today. That was pretty bad. You know, there wasn't a lot of news today. You know, we talked about it a little bit yesterday, and I want to I want to reiterate it again today. Uh, we, just our, yeah, we just had our yeah we just had a employee walk into the office get out we're doing a power anyway all right keep going so um there are, there are some people out there talking about what the interest rate rates may be in the future um talk about the importance of buying today don't talk don't give people or you know that's kind of like false hope we don't know what they're going mm -hmm. to be um and we don't want a lot of people still sitting on on their laurels saying, oh, interest rates are going to come down. There's going to be a bubble. You know, when the interest rates come down, the prices are going to go up even faster, even faster. And you're going to your competition is going to be muy greater. Mm -hmm. um, so buy now. If you can afford now, buy now. The cool thing is, should the interest rates come down, what can we do? Refine. There we go. And, and you are right about that because I uh, have some clients who are trying to buy a home and they're very limited on their price point and they're looking at Merced. Uh, the wife wanted to write last week, like on a Monday. Mm -hmm. The husband, ah, I don't know, I don't know. He kind of kept looking at different places, all this. So they wrote on Monday. Guess what? Two other offers came in at the right. same time. Yep. So what does that say? Don't wait, don't right? Wait. Just go. There's not any, people think, well, there's no competition. No, there's still, there's only, you know, maybe two people instead of 22 people so stop worrying about <laughs> exactly. it exactly yeah it, there's people still trying to buy because they understand they're listening and they understand that hey i need to get in because we're not building more homes no we're not putting a bunch of stuff yes we're building some i'm very minute amount of homes that we need right not enough to stop this increase in home values and i know we sound like a broken record and we are because it's listen. the facts, Jack. I mean, yeah. just listen. Just listen to us. We're not trying. We're not trying to line our pockets. We're trying to save you money and get you into a home with the least inconvenience possible. But I, you know, this is all educational what we do here. But we both go to work each day to right. get paid, right? And we're and we're trying to help people understand. We're here to help you. We also by helping you, we also do get some loans and you get some real estate out of right. it. But that's the we're here to help you with information. I've had many people where they give out my book and they're like, "Oh, this guy's too big for me." No, <laughs> that's just what my wife says. <laughs> She's talking about my weight, by the way. And you're tall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm just saying we, the reason we do this and the reason we put it out, we do the radio show. I put out the book. I was in document was to get information out to people to understand, yeah. stop waiting. It's time you need to, this is all you got to get going. So please, and you're right. Don't talk about interest rates. Don't talk about as long as they can afford the payment. And I tell them, I said that you just got to be okay with this payment right now. Yes, potentially you're going to refinance two to three times over the next three to four years. Exactly. But we don't know that because it's going to take probably longer for these rates to go down. 
than yeah. we thought because this economy is still building because of use of printing money. So I think the message here is don't talk about rates. <laughs> well, you just gotta, don't talk about it. Yeah, just and I mean, uh, rates long term is going to be different. Yes, but they could still be here in two years from now if nothing changes in November. Right. All right. Oh, and which says vote, <laughs> get out and vote and vote your pocketbook. I don't care how, no, yeah, period. Not party, not this pocketbook. What's best for you is how you should vote. I'm getting tired of seeing these ads. Oh, Steve Garvey is too conservative. I have no idea who Steve Garvey is, but how, why are you saying that? It's whoever's best for the for you, yeah. the state of California who will do what's best for the state of California, not what's yeah. best for politicians That's in California. That's just a, a weasel uh, Adam Schiff ad. I'm just saying in general. I don't yeah. – it's just the fact that you, you're just saying stuff where – to scare people and you really don't know what you should do yep. anyway let's move on yeah all right thanks for joining us today we really appreciate it uh if you have any questions remember here we're here for you and second that if you don't get to see this whole thing you can actually rewind it on <laughs> facebook to start it over yep or you can go to the the uh, podcast, podcast that's just the real estate jerky daily that's everywhere you find your podcast at so uh, make it a great day and mike got anything to say because otherwise i'm saying goodbye bye kids look oh there's my hand all right make it a great day thank all you right. hang on a bill all right bye <laughs>